All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to The Last Spell, or welcome to it if you haven't caught it before. Hello. Um, so gameplay modifiers, I'm going to keep these on. Base difficulty, Apocalypse 1. Let's go with Apocalypse 1. I like the extra easy mode stuff, but then balancing it out with the extra enemy challenge. I think that's a good way of doing it. Anyway, it's up with you. Rejoice, O Earth and Sea, for I have come with gifts in hand. The other one gave me her name. Woe to you! My ears burn at the evocation of this incarnation of sin. If you swear that you won't force me into remembering her wicked existence anymore, I shall give you my name. Sure. Good. Thou shalt address thy prayers to fr fr Frude? Freud? 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 That is the name which appeared to me when I looked into the depths of thy soul. So it shall be the name that I shall take. Receive my blessings for thy wondrous accomplishments. So we got Glenwald. Oh, come to your attention that another Haven is also trying their best to break the seal of magic. Looks like Glenwald could do with some help. Oh. Well, shoot. I kind of want to go there instead. Wait, hold up. This game has meta progression. Very heavy meta progression. It's actually, like, really good. Um, select an apocalypse. There we go. Uh, so, realistically, it, it does kind of break the balance. Like, you get some ridiculously strong... Uh, starting perks. So, for example, all of my characters have, I want to say, like, two to three more starting AP, better equipment, on so on and so forth. Oh, is this the town from the demo? Uh, no, it's not. I thought it was for, like, a hot second, but it's fine. Alright, so do we name these characters? Do we rename them as the same ones and just put, oh, boy, Ramsey looks great. Ramsey's a genius, rugged, and a trapper. I like him. Ramsey. Uh, there we go. We're going to just take some of the old names. Okay, so we've got Ramsey, Jalinka, inattentive, thief, and demonic blood. What's thief or inattentive do? Bad magic, worst dodge. Kind of balanced out by thief. And demonic blood is pretty decent. You get to be... You get to be Bellion. There we go. Okay. Alicia. So what do we name Alicia? Bacon. And then Danica. You get to be... Oe. Perfect. Alright, so now we got our characters. So we've got an Insomniac Hero. That is hardy. Hero gets extra AP. Insomniac means they don't recover very fast. So, yeah, actually, that's very much an OE right there. Uh, so what is Bacon? Bacon's a weakling, but Angelic Blood and a Mercenary. Eh, they're kind of good all, all around. Good caster. Let's see, is Melee still bad? I have a low opinion of Melee, but a lot of that it might just be me. Okay. Well... Let's do this proper this time. I think I'm probably going to cut out that first part of that that run. Don't worry. No one missed anything except for me finding out that there's a... Wait. <laughs> there's a Santa Claus. <laughs> yes. Uh, I love it. All right. Uh, so this guy's pretty damn beefy. That said, I don't think I want to set him out yet. I don't think he's got much for block. Yeah. He does have a hammer, though. We'll put him here. I'll want to give him a bow of some variety, maybe. Oh, I forgot how good the music on this is. Hmm. I go here. At the very least, I can shoot this guy. Uh, shoot, just spread debuffs, question mark? I really do not know what else I can do with this guy, unfortunately. Okay, so enemies can't move that far that fast. Boy, we do not have a whole lot of mana regen here, which is certainly going to hold me back a smidge. I can't, I can't even do anything. All right, let's just get armor. Oh, oh, different staff. Windwalk, 
portion of the given attribute. Movement points, dodge, other things. Here's the question. Who even... Ha she still has a bit. It seems like my enemies are mostly just kind of coming from here. But yeah, this is a melee staff. I don't actually... Well, no. They're reasonably well armored. Okay. And looks like that's all I can do at the moment. There we go. Now we're good. Oh boy. That's a little bit more spread out and I think this is going to be a little tougher. I might have to make some allowances here. So what does Hammer Faith do? Uh, let's see. Bounces five times, has a 70% chance of stunning. That's not bad. Shocking Touch is a wave. And then Magic Bash seems to just be a single target. Yeah, one target. Based on movement. Okay, this might be a bit more of a doozy. So one target. Crush does AoE. <sighs> okay, here's what I'm going to start with. Blast that guy, get him up in here. Oh! That's how this works. That's mostly fine. Let's just spread the love. Especially because there's a splitter here. Oof. How much damage do splitters do? I mean, not that much. Yeah, we're going to have to split up here a bit. These guys are kind of heavily armored. How far can they move? Kind of far. Here's the thing. It's just this guy that can move pretty far, right? Okay. And then this one. If I can kill the blocker, I think we're good. At least for now. This side looks like it might be a bit of a, a doozer. Uh, let's go for a bit of armor, just in case. So it seems like this area is just a bit... This this area is going to be a bit tougher. I'm fine with it. Let's probably have these two pair off. Because they're kind of the main, main group anyway. There we go. Ooh. I have to burn most of my... Juice just killing some of these dudes. Um, you know what? You can armor, you can brace self. Let's start with that. Uh, let's undo that one. This is a bit of a doozy just because of the amount of enemies I have to kind of go through to get anything done. Let's do another shocking touch. Who cares about mana at the moment? I mean, I do. Go a bit further and go back and brace. I could do more, but most of the enemies in the area are stunned. And we have who knows how many enemies left. What's the button to switch heroes? I swear there's a button to switch between them all, but I do not care. Okay. Yeah, the problem is most of my characters do have some mana, or mana, action points. But I'm not in a good spot to use them. What if I do that? Does that actually do anything to these guys? It does, it's just not very good. Boy, these guys actually do more damage than I thought they did. Alright. Pop a fireball. 
I don't really care about going Oom here. Uh, mainly just because running out of mana, at this point, uh, I'll be able to get it back. It'd be way worse to lose a dude this early on. Okay. That's a good one. What should we got here? Try Hammer Faith. That stuns the heck out of them for a bit. So if I do that, then I can. Hmm. Is this the most practical thing that I could be doing with myself? I don't know. Hit that guy, then back off. Most of these guys are stunned. Which works really well for me. I think all of them are. That said, there's probably reinforcements a coming. Okay, we've still got four, so let's give this guy some movement speed. And then back, back off. Perfect. I, I don't actually remember if you can hit yourself with these. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk it. I, why did I shoot the poison dude? What I should probably do is actually shoot the splitter. Okay, two more shots kills him. Poison shot stops him in his tracks. And we're out of AP. That's fine. I think we're golden. Anybody else have AP? Nope, we're, we're good. Might be able to move, but still. Okay, how we doing? Move forward a bit. Pop these guys, pop this guy. Just gonna use these AoEs, these chaining AoEs to my benefit. Okay. Now how do I want to do this one? Because we have the movement movement mage. It's not let it, letting me move my screen at all. Weird. Oh, is that why I kept this game in full screen mode? That's probably why. Ugh. I don't know if I want to fix that at the moment. Well, do I blast a lightning bolt up here? Sure, why not? kidding me. Okay, but we gotta kill this splitter beyond anything else. Uh, yeah. I'm out of juice. I could do a fireball. Well, let's brace twice. Actually, do we even care? Where's the farthest my enemies can go? Here. I'll brace again just because. If there's a way I could carry over AP, I'd do it, but I can't. So how do I want to do this one? Because we've got a number of particularly vulnerable enemy groups. It's going to cost me a lot of AP to just get in here and do my dark business. Namely, now we have to run. Uh, let's see. Give him a bit. Do another one. Blast this guy. Bless these guys. And then probably just boogie. Oh, that's as far as I'm boogieing. I should have probably boosted the other guy, but I don't actually... No, nobody's going to be able to get close to him. Okay. So Ramsey... Ramsey, I guess, can give himself armor, though that doesn't stick around. And this one can move. None of these enemies can move further than this. 
So I guess I'm just going to kind of bully this dude. And then just, I don't know. Arm up. Actually, just wait. We don't need to worry about it. My trash barricades. How dare you? Okay. Actually, in retrospect, let's just poison that guy. It's not really worth fighting the armored dudes at all. Right, let's take a look at this. So, you. Go here. Hammer of Faith. Go here. Ugh. My poor mana. Blast this guy. And then... Move a bit. Hmm. And we might take some damage here. Because I've only got two... I've only got two movement. This is my issue with melee. Oh! Oh, I can do that! That apparently has a lot more range than I thought it did. Now, let's just give this guy a ton of armor and just... He's gonna get surrounded. It's inevitable. But it's okay. Okay. Blast some of these guys. Looks like a number of these... Jerks are going to come for me. Um... Okay, got that one. Do we toss a fireball on these guys? Yeah, you know what? I'm not currently in the habit of being conservative. We're gonna have to worry about this kind of soon. But I think we're fine. There's only 30 left. And yeah, he's got enough armor that he should be able to weather it. Hopefully I can get him some more block. Whew. All right. Drop a hammer on some suckers. Keep dropping hammers on suckers. Okay. Now this should be the last of them, right? No. It is not. Oh, he's out of juice anyway. Let's see. Let's just blast kind of a couple of these guys out here. And then run. Because nobody's going to be able to hit us here. We're definitely going to be in a bad spot for the next... Uh, for the next day. Maybe? I don't know. I should be able to make some mana shrines here. Let's see, do I have anything else? Nope. Armor up. What else am I going to do? Okay, and they're out of stuff. Just brace self. Perfect. Okay. So how far can these enemies move? Far. But I'm going to assume it's generally just these guys. And every time I shoot them, they lose a little bit of movement speed. Because that's how the hand crossbows work. I love hand crossbows in this game. Move forward. Who cares? We'll be fine. Okay, yeah. Nobody can move this far. This is the only guy that's actually in trouble, and even then he's got plenty of armor, so I don't think anybody's reaching him. Okay, I mean, there's that guy, but whatever. Hello, fireball. Please hit. Hell yeah. Whew. Yeah, that failed iteration 
had some really good, uh, really good mana gain. I think this group is going to be genuinely better. Uh, you know what? Let's just boost armor. This guy only hits for like 28. The armored, the armored dudes are not scary. Wow. <laughs> wow. The armored dudes are mostly only a problem. Oh. Got this guy. We've only got a little bit left. He might be able to just beast it. There we go. Got it. Yeah, the armored dudes are only scary because they're hard to kill. But they don't actually do a whole lot of damage. Give me a bunch of stuff. We get some levels. We get a lot of levels. Hell yeah. A different level design. No water features, which were kind of good, bad. Good because uh, it kept enemies at bay. Bad because it, uh, I'd often get stuck on them. Eh, it'll be fine. It just means that my wall overall is just going to get smacked around a bit. All right, so what do we got? We got a hammer. That's not plus one. Novice Tome of Secrets or a Silver Crossbow. So, less damage, but it does have a nice perk. I might want to just give it to Ramsey, uh, just so he has a crossbow. Because I don't think the Tome of Secrets is going to be that good. Yeah, let's just go with that. Alright, let's level up. So, this is Ramsey, currently our hammer man. Genius, so heavy level gain, tons of armor, and pretty good at everything except for magic. So, I can do whatever I want with him. I'm not against giving them, like, decent chunk of armor and, yeah, really having them be... Okay, that's only base damage to momentum, nothing more. More EXP gain, why not? Crit power is pretty good, but I'm gonna go for accuracy. Okay, and perks. So let's grab Avid Learner. Oh, we can already get another thing. So extra armor for standing adjacent to a building, defense, or obstacle, which isn't bad. Every enemy landing a an attack in melee gets poisoned for 20 damage. First mana consuming skill. Use during a turn costs less mana, which is really good. Killing an enemy harvests a few additional tainted essence, which is good. Stunning. I mean, stunning is great for this guy. Especially if I'm going to keep him set for hammer. Uh, how do we city stash? Here we go. Let's give him the crossbow. Oops. There. That way, if there's nothing they can do, they can just switch to hammer and start, uh, or crossbow and start shooting. All right, Bellion. So Bellion is hand crossbow. Currently. Magic damage is a bit of an insult. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's... This early on, way too good not to go for. Armor, dodge, resistance. I mean, some of these are good. I'm going to re-roll. I mean, I guess I'll go for the 32 armor. Let's see what we want to grab. I'll just get a movement point. Then re-roll these. Crit power is good. And that's all. Okay. So more learning. And this is our... Oh yeah, definitely go for the crits. Let's go for thrifty. Because thrifty is always great. Bacon. You know what? Hair... Uh... Oh, that's hair color. Oh my gosh. Bacon, you now have fabulous hair. Alright, there we go. 
So Bacon is our kind of weird melee caster, unless I decide to change. And they are definitely magic. I mean, mana regen ain't bad. All these are bad, though. Isn't there one particularly, uh, one particular talent that's specifically OP with hand crossbows? I think there's quite a number, actually, that qualify there. Let's go for the mana regen, even if it's not great. I'm gonna re-roll this into, that's trash, why? Shit. I should have not gambled there, whatever. Okay. Owe. Owe's biggest problem is... Uh, so, that changes a little bit. Because now we might want to take a look at Bellion. Bellion is our thief with high crit. I'm going to take the hand crossbow off. Uh, we were gonna give it to Oe. Because Oe's not much of a caster. But it doesn't, yeah. It's really just that, uh, that propagation bounces plus two makes a hand crossbow just absolutely absurd in anybody's hands. Let's go for the rain da range damage. There are some good casting spells that also work off of propagation, but they're, they don't even hold a candle. To going hand crossbow here. Okay, enough tainted essence to unlock a thing. When life gives you propagation, you take propagation. There's nothing else I'd want more. Okay, so we have 2,000. Right. We want starting related stuff more than anything else. Rare item production, maybe additional mage. I don't know how much I care about that. Longbows. Actually, the longbow one might not be a bad idea. I don't know. Do we want to just start knocking off some of the cheaper ones? Or heavy armors? Oh, right. I can invest in other things. Good to know. Probably start working on rare item production all the same. Okay. So we want to... I got some workers, we've got some structures. It doesn't seem like we've got anything new. And I don't have that much gold. Because the mana well is how we get our mana back. I'm going to need that sooner than later. However, more so than anything else, I'm going to need these mines. How do we rotate them? Is there controls? Instruction mode. No, that's that's how we open it up. Turbo battle. Is there no way to rotate anything? Yeah, you can't. Huh, weird. I mean, I guess it makes sense. No, it doesn't. I, I guess it makes sense because they don't have the sprites for it yet. Um, but yeah, let's just put a gold mine in here. Let's start with that. So... Let's see. I think I want to upgrade it, but only so much. Grab the gold mine. Gets me some. We want to get this seer down. And putting it here doesn't seem like a bad idea. Okay, reveals the ratio. Oh. I need more people for this. Build new structure. House.
That gives me two out of three. Because what I want here, what I want here very specifically is to uh, start pushing back the fog. It starts, it starts expanding towards my base, and eventually becomes like problematic. Oh, and I can't do anything about it at the moment. Uh, I've got some people. You know what? We got some spare workers. Yeah, let's just start demolishing buildings instead. gold and some materials okay does that give me enough for anything it gives me enough for a gold mine I'm just gonna do that I can't do anything else with it but just having one is good okay and we also have more enemies so in that case let's put melee team out here And then range team here. Oh no. Uh, these two have switched roles. I forgot about that. There we go. Anything else? Build some defenses. What do we have? I could make the mounted ballistas. What's the range on these? Like, actually ridiculously good? Where can I put the walls? Pretty far. The big issue is these shrine walls are kind of rude. We're a little limited in what we can do there. Um. I mean, do I want to get ballistas down or... Do we want to wait on ballistas? We don't really need too much. Because I'd like to mess with these, but not yet. Yeah, let's just save our resources for the time being. Because you, you can save materials, right? Boy, I hope so. Is range still blocked by obstructions? I don't think for the ballistas, but I could be wrong. Okay, hordes are incoming. I think my good guys are in as good of a spot as they're going to get for the moment. Alright, let's take a look at this. Bunch of jerks. These guys can get poisoned. We want to just kind of soften them up. This group is kind of solid because effectively you have the, the magic caster... Just pepper them down. And then your hand crossbowmen finish them off the rest of the, the rest of the way, at least as far as you can get them. Now let's pull back a bit. We don't need to be up the up this far. Okay. Let's take a look at this. So these guys haven't gotten a whole lot of magic yet. Um I'm just gonna move here. We're going to start getting bonky. And just move back. But these guys. Do we just... And the main question is, how far can any of them go? Uh, flip side question is, does it matter? Okay. And just boost armor. These guys are just going to be... Oops, that's punch. These guys are just going to be tough and here. Question, is there a control for next hero? And are Q and, e, Q and E used for anything? No, it doesn't look like it. So next hero is gonna be E and Q. Perfect. Alright, that's gonna make oh that's gonna make my life a lot easier. Anything else for me to do? No, actually. If only you could bank AP. The boop twins shall hold the south. And they'll do a dang good job of it too, I think. Uh, this one's a bit, bit tougher. Do we lob a fireball? 
sure. Because we want that guy to ultimately go down. Let's go here. Can I hit these guys? Yes. I. That's rude. That was a good hit, though. Ah, didn't give me another one. It's fine. Okay, let's just do two hits on this guy. Take him out. Poison him. This guy doesn't have too much. Move up one more. Poison him. Take him out. And then slow these ones down. Because my main goal is just to not let anybody get close. And are we good? Yeah. Okay, how are these guys doing? We have a lot of friends here. How much damage is that going to do? Not enough to kill. Go here. Let's just do a bounce. Move here. Shocking touch. And then move back. How much do you got? Okay. This guy needs to actually use some of his movement, otherwise this is just squandering it. If I go here... We can do big bonkus. Womp that guy. How much do we have left? We got some. Spread this here. Have these guys hang out. The thing is, they can just keep boosting their armor, and as long as they're next to each other, they're generally safe-ish. And yeah, 90, 90 armor and 124 armor. It's going to take a lot for anybody to get through that. All right, we're good. Oh, they're ignoring the boop twins. I don't like it when they do that. Shows a certain level of disrespect that I'm not comfortable with. Ho ho! Boy, that does some real damage. Let's see, how far can this guy move? I don't know how much I care. I think they'll take one hit. Maybe. Plunk that guy. Go here. And then just boost armor. Yeah, I, I'm always afraid of letting my guys get hit. Right. Do not end... Do not end early. What the hell is that thing? Elite armored. Oh, it's got an aura. Well, that makes this a little tougher. Let's ignore 50% of a target's resistance. No, I think I'm going to go for a lightning strike. Hit these guys. There, wow. Wow. Okay. That changes a little bit. Okay. No more armor aura. Go back. Blast that guy. Go here. Poison this schmuck. See, why did I even shoot him? Hit them both. What else do we have? I guess we'll poison that guy again. Okay, anything else for it? Nope. Just provide armor. Okay, and you're out of juice. That'll be fine. Okay, was there an update recently that prompted this lovely stream? Yeah, it's called the Enemies Update. It added a whole bunch of new stuff that I don't actually know what it what got added, to be honest. That was a good hit. Can I get a fireball? Yeah. 
I'm just gonna be burning my mana like nobody's business. I probably shouldn't, but... If I don't, we're gonna get overrun here. We've got 63 enemies left. Okay. Not too much. Do I want to do one of these? Now let's let the poison finish them off a little bit. We also have all of our outer defenses. Also looks like this area might be a little bit more... Uh, further along. Boy, you can just throw your hammer straight through these guys, can't you? I don't know. I think hammers are pretty good. Let's see. How do we want to do this one? I don't see any T-shaped enemy groups, really. Let's go here. This is one, kind of. Blast this guy again. He's not dead. But he is by and far the most dangerous enemy for me to deal with. Nope, that ain't it. Just armor up. Most of these guys we can just kill in the next round. But how we doing? I do have this stunning shot, but I don't think I have anything to worry about. Alright. Remember there were additional maps added, weren't there? Yeah, I think that was added a while ago. I don't I don't think that's actually a, a particularly recent thing. Okay. Just hit both of these guys. Yeah, the poisoned ones aren't going to be able to go very far. Are you poisoned? Or you armored? Yeah. And you're armored. Pull back. How do we want to do this one? Fireball in there midst? Yeah. Gotta go for it. It seems they're not as fast as when the game first came out. Are we talking the enemies or the updates? He's damn slow. Who can move the farthest? Maybe the Clar. I don't think there's anything else for it. Okay. They're done. So how do we do this one? I guess we start with this. Because we want to set up so I can specifically do... A this. Do we do a second one of those? Yeah. For a good reason. Okay, let's give him a movement speed bonus. Get over here. Blast this guy. Blast these guys. I think this side's almost dead. So we might want to have the kineticists specifically start running to the other side. I don't think the other side needs a whole lot of help. But I'm pretty sure Big Bonkus has got this. Uh, who's still missing something? Just the kineticist. I don't think they can do anything here. Alright, we're good. Okay, the enemies aren't as fast. So part of the reason why they don't come off as particularly fast is probably because of me. Uh, so specifically, I've got a number of abilities. Are you kidding me? Uh, I've got a number of abilities that specifically give me a, um, or slow enemies down. Uh, the hand crossbow especially. Poison that guy. We just want to make sure he can't go anywhere. 
Who else? Probably the Klar can move. Anybody else reach me? Yeah, kinda. I'm sorry every time I hit an enemy with a hand crossbow, they lose a, le ah, they lose a movement point for uh, two rounds. And so I really can just like prevent enemies from getting anywhere. It's kind of great. Can I hit this guy? Yeah. Because we gotta get rid of him. Okay. It doesn't seem like I've got any any enemies that can actually reach me at this point. If it seems like enemies can't reach me, it's it's because I'm I'm very much trying to uh to shut them down to the point where they have no other uh Whoops, don't want to do that. I didn't even notice this guy. He's just been sneaky. And he dead. I might just leave this guy over. Oh, yeah, because there's another sneaky dude right here. He'll hit something. I don't think he's going to get very far. We good? I guess if I go here. Oops. Um. I guess I'll go here. He'll take a hit, but not much. All right, let's take a look. Where did this guy end up? He's booking it for something important. I'm very glad I did not just leave. Otherwise, I would have had a bad day. Hmm. So how much do I want to do here? And how do I want to do it? Poison this guy. Because ideally what I want to do is poison any enemy with armor. There we go. Kind of slow him down. There is a hewer in there, but... I think I'm going to try and kill him with artillery. There we go. Perfect. And then see if I can propagate the poison. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so if I move back one, two? Okay, can't go any further. And we have this guy. Who does bonus damage based on how far he's moved. This guy can't go very, very far. This guy can't go very far. This guy kind of can. Okay. I think I'm just going to run circles for a bit. Because, yeah, unfortunately, using a momentum move cost me that momentum bonus. Uh, gain some extra armor, just in case. They're good. And it doesn't seem like there's anybody down here. So I think we're good. All right. Perfect. All right, so let's just come up here. At this point, this is this is the end of them. I just have to shell down whoever remains. Uh, let's see. Anybody else in this mess? Nope, kind of just whoever. Poison. Oh, there's one more enemy just kind of hanging out out there. Alright. I'm just kind of pepper these guys so they can't reach me. Yeah, if you notice, these guys can only move one tile now. Means they're pretty much not a threat. This guy can't even move. Um. Yeah, you know what, why not? Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. It's magic. Do that again. Okay, how far can I move? Not very far. I'm just going to go over here. And then just brace armor. He's out of... He's out of juice. It's fine. 
Nobody's touching these these suckers. Oh, there are more enemies. Huh. Magical staff of power walking. Hell yeah. Sop. Okay, that wasn't enough damage. Give me a second. Boost self. Power walk back. Hello. Power walk some more. It's like shockingly effective. Okay. Probably should have actually just shot him a couple of times. Because these guys don't actually have a whole lot of armor right now. So I could just totally kill them with a hand crossbow. Or other characters. But this guarantees they're not surviving. Perfect. Alright, skip animations. S rank, nobody took damage. We got a lot of EXP. Everything is good. And the fog... It grows... Okay, nope. So let's go back to this. We want to start by repelling fog. Because we need we need to do that every day. Otherwise, this, you know, water area that used to be mine... Nah, it's gone. Okay. So let's take a look at these. So, pants, health... Critical and armor, that's pretty good. Magic orb. Orb gives me infects. Putrid ball. Ooh. Range is decent. Target is great. I like the orb. Okay, and let's level some people up. Ooh, look at Ramsey's movement. Dude's gonna motor. Uh, let's see. Let's reroll these into block. Hell yeah. Man is a living tank and I'd love it. Secondary attribute. Probably just mana regen. And EXP gain. This guy's gonna level like a champion. Let's grab Thrifty and... Uh, potential move point penalty wearing body armor is reduced by one. I mean, that's actually pretty good. What else do we have? Oh, can store a few unused action points, one, and movement points for the next turn. Killing an enemy with a melee attack restores four health. That's good. No, oh, play dead. Upon dying, the hero will return from the grave. I mean, that's kind of good. Any trap around the hero at the end of their turn restores one use, which is kind of interesting. I'm curious about that. I mean, the extra movement points are great. Poisonous is interesting, but not hugely useful for this guy. Vampire. I like patience. Let's grab patience. Oh, I totally forgot to even use his crossbow at any point in all of this. Oh, well, he didn't need it. Okay, so this is our caster. I like cherry picking. Extra reliability against isolated enemies. That's not a bad move. Because steady aim is really good if they don't move. Great for hand crossbow characters. But for them, let's go with the isolated damage just because. And character details. Level up. Uh, these are all bad. Just a flat damage booster. I'll take it. Range damage. Oh. Oh. I just realized this character is inattentive and more of a physical attacker than anything else. And it doesn't really matter, it's just they should not be using a book. Um, do I want to just make him a ranged attacker? Sure, I don't use melee that much anyway. And that's a good perk. Bacon. is a really good ranged attacker, but let's... Buff that accuracy. 
And buff that mana regen. All right, Bacon. And so Bacon gets Thrifty. And Steady Aim. So now as long as Bacon doesn't move, they have bonus range and bonus accuracy. And, oh, we have another one of these. Uh, let's just reload. Ah, do I want to just gamble? Yeah, sure. I'll take it. It's not great, but it's not terrible. These aren't as good. Nor are these. Well. What about Oe? Always thrifty. Always thrifty. Oh, right. Oh, actually, the things that we just got for bacon aren't bad. This is one-handed. It is not. Oh! I'm not too worried about what I just gave Oe in retrospect, but yeah. I mixed up bacon and Oe. That's eh, fine, especially with the new orb. Okay. So back to Oe. I gotta not mix these two characters in my head. So, Oe is our hand crossbow person. They're the one that should have steady aim. I mix that one up. So, the poison damage would actually be pretty good on this character. Let's go with the crit, crit chance. Eight, eight block. It's not great if they're ne never going to be in, in combat. Go for the mana regen. Oh, yeah, because we desperately need that. There we go. Now we get five. That's a lot nicer than what we had. Okay, and that's all these characters. So let's build some new structures. Namely, let's go back to this. And then I don't think I have any remaining people. Whoops. Build house. Do I have a better spot than this? No. So we're going to build a house. How much does it cost to upgrade a house? 24. So if I go back to the gold mine and we use it. 25 gold. Upgrade the house. And reuse it. Can I upgrade it again? Uh, let's see. Okay, the production effect on this one is kind of bad. 28 gold. Because I want to upgrade this one a little further. Um... I have one more more remaining guy. I could have him work a gold mine, or we could... I can't even buy a house, can I? Wait, but item store. Buy some gear. If I sell the scepter, then we have just enough to upgrade this, use it again, gets me another 25 gold, puts me back at 28. City stash, character details, did I not get any? Oh, because we got the orb. Uh, I could sell the cro silver crossbow for a bit more. It's not really that good. Let's keep doing this. Shop, sell the silver crossbow. It's not amazing anyway. Uh, my logic here is... Where are they coming from? Okay, they're coming from these two angles. Who do I want to mix? Okay, I think I want to do something kind of like this. And eh, yeah, nah. Let's do something like this. 
Let's hope the orb is actually good. I mean, it does have the it does have the putrid ball and death ray, but putrid ball in and of itself actually looks like it's going to be insanely powerful. What about this one? Ton of damage to isolated enemies. That, that actually works out really well, I think. Uh, let's see. So do I want to upgrade it? Oh, that's uses per production phase. What we want to grab is production plus plus, but we can't get that. We don't have enough people. Build new structures. Oh, but I can get another gold mine. Hey, hey. more gold mine. After this, we're probably going to need that mana shrine in a bad way. But I've given my characters at least some amount of stuff. The other thing we have, now that I'm thinking about it, is... Big Ballistas. Big Ballista in the deep blue sea. Okay, so I can... I'm gonna just demolish a number of these basic barricades. They're kind of in my way and they're not that helpful. Okay, question is, if I go back to building things, put a ballista here. I mean, I guess I could just put it here. We'll just do those. Okay, don't think there's anything else. They're coming from there. I have, like, no money. But as soon as we get those gold mines up and running, then we're going to be wealthy, and then nothing can stop me.